All right, we're at Target. Let's see what's new and what they have. You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. So come shop with me at Target. This is the bullseye section. This is one of my favorite sections of shopping because as you can see, you can find like really cool little things like this over here, little containers like those over there. First stop is the bullseye section. These checkered items are such a vibe and I love all of them. There are candles that come in different scents. I love coming into this section because I always find a lot of gems like this picture frame. And I love the idea of restyling it for another season with just like a simple DIY project that goes along with it. I also love that they have these mini cheese knife sets. I think they're perfect for any season from now and honestly throughout the year. Right now the bullseye section has a ton of Halloween decor like these hand towel sets and even this one with the magic potion and it comes with the plaid hand towel as well. Look at how cool these skeleton heads are. They're already decorated so you can just easily decorate your space. If pastel is your vibe, this trifold haunted house decor is simple but cute and of course it's only $5. I love this felted pumpkin. This will look adorable in any area of the house, the kitchen, foyer, or even the bedrooms if you decorate in there for the season. Okay, so these little disco ball witch hats are super adorable. It's definitely giving wicked vibes, especially with the crown and the witch hat. And I actually really love this cauldron too. And I didn't even realize that these were spiders until I picked them up. Perfect for decorations for a desk or even in the foyer, especially if you wanted to add a bunch together. I feel like it will really make the house stand out. Okay, so these mini bottles I saw last year, but they were a little bit different. If you want them, you can make it for a party favor of some sort. These are super cute. I just love how like iridescent they are, but like on the black outside, they come in a couple of different sayings on them, which is brew poison, and vampire venom. These test tube drink holders are perfect for Halloween parties or classroom party favors. This witch's hat is for snacks and great for being on theme. I love grabbing decanters like this when I see them. I grabbed a few last year and I'm repurposing them this year. So these are not Halloween, but I love them anyway. I love anything mini to be honest. I also think it could be a really cool container to use as a holder for a teacher gift. This woodland area is so adorable. I love that the buckets are actually popcorn holders. I think this could be perfect for a cozy autumn movie night for the whole family. And let's not forget about holiday hosting in style with this shots measurer, bottle opener, drink strainer, and even ice tongs. This area has been ransacked and this is like basically what's left. All right, so we have an office section. This is not necessarily new stuff, but I wanted to show you some of my favorite things from here. Okay, so some of the other stuff I like to do is come into Target, look in the office supply section. I like to use some of this stuff in my home, like in the actual bedrooms instead of just office spaces. So like for instance, like these wall pockets right there, I actually use in my son's bedroom to store like his Legos and Hot Wheels and stuff. So sometimes you can find other things in other departments that doesn't necessarily have to be like what it's supposed to be used for, you know what I mean? It's more like that think outside the box. So for me, I use office supplies and anything that I think could make the home like kind of up, updated and organized that's why i love stopping in this section all right so you guys know i love organization so these stackable storage boxes are really cute i love the way they look anything that is acrylic is my absolute favorite i love this drawer organizer with a paper shelf on top this pens holder and this acrylic monitor stand is essentially a monitor riser which raises it in a more aesthetic way it gives flexibility to store items underneath and it's only 35 dollars any organization items for notes are always on my radar, especially this dry erase board with this gold edge around it and this acrylic weekly to-do list. Okay, so one of the sections I don't talk about like ever or at all is Opal House. I actually love the Jungle Bow and Opal House collection together. I actually don't use a lot of it in my home, but I like adding small elements into it. So like this thing, I'm thinking about buying and putting in my bathroom. I just like the style so much. I love how like bohemian it is, but it's also like a little bit of eclectic. Um, the style is just really cool. I don't know, like something about it, it just kind of catches, it, something about it just kind of captures my attention. And I want to add a little bit, like infuse a little bit of those vintage elements in my house. I keep myself a little bit more modern, but these are some of the things that I love and I want to get. Let me show you. 
okay so this here i've been eyeing i love this so much it, lo it looks so nice in my bathroom i love how i can use this as like for the toothbrush holder and then of course this is for the soaps but let me also show you the some of the um shower curtains so this one right here kind of caught my eye and i added a little bit of green into my bathroom so i just love the way this looks so this bath mat caught my eye, probably because of all the yellow. I normally hate snakes, but I thought this was really interesting and different. So this waste basket is actually not new. This is one of my favorites though. I think the style is pretty timeless and that's why it's still here at Target. I like this one and I purchased it from my bathroom a few years ago. They have a matching scrubber and another trash can option that's a different shape, but same finish. And here's like a little washcloth set again i like the warm neutrals that's in it um it's so cool and my bathroom is mostly black and white so i like i would think i could add something like this to it so you guys just saw me redo my bathroom linen closet and stuff like this is like totally my vibe i just love the way it looks it's very neutral and timeless i also like these this could be really cool for like the bathrooms adding those little elements to like the kids bathroom Okay, and again, this is the Threshold Collection, but look how like the vintage vibes with like the, the top of the sunburst at the top is really pretty. I feel like this can go in any space and looks really high end and look at the price. Up next is bedding. There are a ton of items that are in this section, but let's just talk about the seasonal colors today. so here are some of the blankets that are really pretty for fall you can see how they combine like some of the color palettes like this purpley and then like this brownish color definitely nice for fall someone took this out of the bag i don't know what's going on right here i guess it's supposed to be like this so that it's another jungle item and of course classic cream color you can't go wrong with something like that all right, so this is something I had my eye on for a while. This kind of matches like those curtains in my bedroom. I love this. I was not sure if it would be too much, but I am in the market for like updating my bedding. So this might be some, one of the contenders. It also comes with shams. And what I love about the velvet diamond stitch quilt is that it comes in a bunch of different colors. And here are a few seasonal hand towels. Although these feel a little bit more kitchen-y to me, I'm sure they could be used in the bathrooms instead. This one feels really soft. I actually love how it's embroidered in the front. That says thankful. And look at the back. The color and print is really pretty. Okay, again, with the embroidery, here we go with the gold purplish color and like that rust color. And then the back is just a nice classic plaid. And here were a few outdoor mats. All right, so this is something new that I haven't seen before. Look at this ottoman. I love this with the leather, and I like how dark it is, too. Oh, this has been pretty classic with the shirt rugs. And here's another ottoman with, like, storage inside. I actually love hidden storage, so this is something that's really cool that could work for any space. Okay, so this is a corner cabinet with like a metal grid on the front. This is actually really cool and I feel like I like how it's able to like save space because of it's a corner cabinet. So I have a disclaimer. I went to Target on a Saturday around 2 p.m. and the store was thoroughly shopped. So I apologize for some of the footage that looks a little disheveled, especially in the upcoming section, but this store was so busy. I still wanted to get the footage for you and show you some of the what's new at Target items. So I just went around filming the items that I personally love, thought looked high end, and even items I personally bought with my own money. I'm a frequent Target shopper and I love coming to the store. So if this video is something you like and you want to see more from me, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and even share because it really does help me out. So in the Threshold slash Studio McGee slash Magnolia home area of Target, there's lots of novelty items. Any type of items, especially seasonal, you're going to find here. At this time of year, I saw lots of pumpkin decor, of course, woven pumpkins, and of course, ceramics that were for every day. I like the marble-esque vases that I saw and even the brass vases that came in two different sizes will work now, especially for table decor for the holidays. Certain items like this welcome mat, I would consider to be more classic, but still perfect for now through the new year.
I actually love the look of this vase. The irregular shape I haven't seen here at Target before and even in this color with this fall leaf decor right next to it, I can imagine it in my own foyer with a similar color palette. All right, so I'm over in the home decor section and it's lots of new things, but there's also a lot of repeat things I've seen like over the years. I'm guessing it's like some of those evergreen things could always work in your home any time of year, um, any season, and maybe year after year even too. I do like the longevity of some of the pieces. Um, what I love about fall is like those orange, yellows, those like burgundy colors, really pretty. I'm actually getting inspired and like want to get some stuff for my own house right now. So I'm thinking like, oh, I kind of like this for like September, October, or November, you know, and then switch things up maybe in December. Um, so some of the things like the wreaths I've seen before, I haven't seen some of the vases, like the irregular shaped ones with that yellow tone. I thought that was like really pretty. Um, there's some baskets here in new colors, darker wood tones. Um, and even some like the throw blankets are like new with like some of the houndstooth print and just coming in like a variety of colors. Um, there are a lot of pictures here that I've seen before. So there's also a few things that I've like seen before, but I'm also like not mad that they're back because um, again, that longevity, some things you don't need to necessarily buy year after year over and over and over again. Um, and that's what I like about timeless pieces, especially I do the same thing in my house. I make sure when I'm buying stuff, I'm buying stuff that I can use, you know, for the next couple years because I don't really like buying brand new things every year. Sometimes you have those things that's like, you know what, I want to see them house next year too. You know what I mean? So, um, all right, let me show you a few more things and then we can get up out of here. So here's just a few more things. Here's some faux fall foliage and some ceramics that can be used to store them. Don't think of these things as just for fall. Think of it as being repurposed into Christmas as well. This faux fiddle leaf is on my wish list, especially because it's in this concrete pot. Definitely an evergreen item. And don't forget about the candles. Oh my God, there were so many new scents of candles at Target right now. This brass bowl is really cool with the bug shape at the bottom. It kind of reminds me of the Jungle Collection, how she adds those interesting elements to things. I kind of get that vibe from this as well. And as I mentioned before, some of the areas were so shopped, like the Magnolia Home section. It looks like people were really loving the hand towels, candles, and even the reed diffusers there. And there were a few more Halloween items at Target, like this skull bowl and these light up houses. There were also a couple of velvet pumpkin shaped pillows that were so soft and these sequin skeleton pillows and an embroidered one. And that's it for this what's new at Target video. What items did you like seeing? What items do you want to see next time? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.